So we are back. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, and yes, we are back at it. So if it's your first time catching me on YouTube, just know I was live. So make sure you go ahead and hit the links in the description, pull up on your boy, catch me in the action, be a part of the conversation, make sure the noties is on for the noty gang, you feel me? Hey, we got some heat to get into and I'm excited. So let's get into it. Got some heat to get into today. Stupid fire, um, a different type of anime, which is dope. We've been seeing really interesting things happening within this series it's the elusive samurai we're here episodes 11 and 12 this is it we're finishing it up it's been a cool little journey pacing's not bad concept storytelling not bad animation amazing art style amazing yeah i mean it's been fire the way it transitions the way it foreshadows uh we we have a banger of a series and if you're not watching Elusive Samurai, this is highly underrated, and I would highly suggest you watch it. But we're at the end of the first season, so let's see what's about to get, what's about to go down. It's peanut butter, just say what? Forgot I had the dryer on. Hopefully my audio sounds good. Now we're back into the peanut butter jelly top. Put my goddamn tongue just now, I'll tell you Let's get into it. Basically, they're being enslaved. Uh-oh, enter new villain. He's a little more sophisticated, huh? He's letting the power go to his head. Even dude with the eyes is being weird. The fuck is that? His eyebrows is dots. Ain't no way. Even he's sweating talking to this dude. He's either a killer or he just got that power. Damn. He's got the order to just body whoever he wants. They want to fight back. Damn. So he already sees that they they gonna get bodied. So he's gonna try to save him. Ooh, become an elusive general. A bunch of little boys on a mission, huh? Real dangerous though. Smart. Somebody go swing on him? Uh oh, they mad as hell. <laughs> He made up his mind, bro. Said we're gonna die all together, like we planned. Fuck it. Our pride over everything. Yeah, bro. Get the fuck out of here. If it's your territory, live to fight another day to get that shit back. You rather just die and have them take it? He nervous as hell. <laughs> oh, that's just his face. His face just looked like that. Hey, yo, chill, bro. That's crazy. All of them is plotting how they're gonna die. That's crazy. What's up with that dude's face? That nigga face looks easy to draw. Oh wait, so he's got a he's got a plan. He's like, bro, if they just retreat this way, we can at least solidify our defense, so we could be stronger to fight rather than this little ass group fighting this big ass group. Oh, he's always had a temper since he was a kid. I'd be like, beat me in a fight. If you can hit me one time, you can push on. If you can kill me, you can kill them. You can go and die. Weave, 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 dodge. Tire him out. He pass out because he's too tired. All right, pack it up, fellas. Hop oh, we back. These niggas about to shoot arrows over the river already? I was about to say, that's a good way to like buy some time. So he said, y'all can't shoot. Y'all might as well go attack. Ooh. Oh, that shit was a dam? Yeah, go ahead and try to cross. Washed away. By the time they got to shore, they was tired as hell. Yo, what the fuck is up with this hot dog head nigga? He cutting heads off? Oh my God. Okay, 3D animation horse ride. It didn't look bad at all. This man is tripping. These are motherfuckers that are just ready to die. Real life shit just hit, huh? Okay, so they're strong. They're strong soldiers. Oh, nah. He really ate motherfuckers on the battlefield? Oh, he drunk, talking shit, drunk and belligerent ass. They really, hey, I ain't gonna lie though, that's some real pride, boy. You just ready to die for the cause. Fuck the future. These real gangsters. I said he should challenge him, but he found a way to challenge him. Oh shit, he's drunk. Yo, what the fuck? Not a new special move the young lord can do. That's insane. Not him. What he doing, bro? He twerking on a nigga face, bro? That's crazy. Live to fight another day, nigga. Oh shit, he punishing him like it's his fault. Man, I forgot I had this nigga. Oh my God, he's bloodthirsty. That man's already gave him the warning. He said, bro, these kids, anytime them kids is around, shit don't go our way, bro. So let's just leave it alone for today. Figure this shit out later. He said, what? He said, fuck them kids. <laughs> nigga, we gonna get the kids. Man's got drunk. That man said, I got a whole nother path, bro. I'm not trying to die. Fuck the old samurai tradition, nigga. We surviving till we can't live no more. I'm not trying to die during fight, nigga. I'm not trying to get killed. Die on my own terms. Oh, shit. They chasing. Get to moving. Let's go. Elusive. 
Let the elusiveness begin. This is the this is the last battle we see in, and this is the last boss. You know, we saw the uh, we saw the eyes boss, we saw the ears boss. We got uh, the crazy one that was just catching bodies that he ended up defeating. Don't know what's gonna happen with him, but that's three bosses, and now we're on to this one. That's like the motherfucker that's overseeing all of it. Actually, he's the one calling the shots. So, and he only reports to the big boss. So whatever he says goes. And uh, yeah, so we're seeing the, the big bads and now this is his final big bad for sure. Now he's, yeah, hopefully this shit, you know what I mean? Turn out the way we want it. Seems like it's going that way. Oh, now that's real fire. That's not anime. Okay, so they put budget into the final episode for sure. Wait, did we get a time skip? That was him. Okay, he didn't look the same without all his, his whole get up. It turned into goons. Damn, that's the art. That's how like people describe the battles, how it would look. Motherfuckers was looking like goons for real. Got him. They wanted to split y'all. Yeah. Oh shit. It was a setup. Let's go. He had the ears. I didn't even notice the ears. I ain't gonna hold you. Ooh, he's a sharpshooter. He said they can handle the niggas on the ground as long as it's flat land. Okay. So they just buy in time for the women and children to get to safety and then they can flip it up. He said, bro, just get busy. You can do whatever you want on the on the battlefield. Just get busy. This nigga riding around on the on the horse, going crazy. He said he's too little to be on the battlefield. He got the nigga that looked the angriest. <laughs> the nigga with the craziest craziest looks on their faces. <laughs> bro said, my bro, you look like a radish or some shit. The fuck is that? Got the glizzy nigga out here. Look like a walking glizzy is crazy. Niggas mad faces are hilarious. That nigga said, I ain't bald, bro. I got hair on the back of my head. <laughs> bald niggas trying to hold on to it. Kabuki hurt? Oh, fuck. Nigga, if you will get your ass up, bro. This nigga said, I'm so hungry, I can't move. Boy, he's like the Flash. Bro need calorie intake. Gave him a compliment and dipped out. Oh, shit, who's that? His people just got body. General versus general, here we go. You gotta fight an adult now. Ooh, that look look crazy. That's a crazy look. I'm gonna have to screenshot that mode. What the hell just happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is happening? Is it animation tripping? Or, or is that how the story being told? That's that's what, how the story was being told? Wait, wait, what the hell is this? They cut to pictures? Like, this is cool, right? It's a little like walrus versus whatever the fuck that is over there. Uh, badger, wolf, uh, fox, coyote. I don't know what kind of teeth those are. Maybe a cat, cat-like creature. Maybe like the jaguar versus a uh, walrus. But what the fuck is this? Like blur lines, 3D animated horses, and it's skipping. I'm thinking this is one real sequence, but maybe it's, there's no way my computer, nah, they fucked up the animation. This is all 3D. Okay, that was weird as hell. So that's, oh, it's like they're, it's like they're uh, jousting. This nigga got hit and the, his back hit the, uh, uh, the goddamn saddle, fucked him up. This nigga got to elusive it, bro. You got to dodge and hit. Damn, that nigga blocked the attack. He put his sword in front of his face like this, and that bitch smacked him in the face and left his line. You know how, bro, it's straight metal hitting you across your shit right here. And it's under his eye line, too, so it hit the bridge of his nose all the way through here. He had to break his shit. Yeah, he's a fucking child. It's a grown-ass nigga and a general at that. What you gonna do? You tough as fuck, I tell you that. Bro, gotta do something else. Nigga gotta get elusive, bro. Oh, he got him? Ah, it's raps. Let's go, that's your boy. I ain't gonna lie, if this kid dies here, this is gonna be insane. Ooh, jump. Oh, nick the neck. Crazy. He got him. Oh, fuck. There you go. Oh, shit. He lost too much blood. Come on, kid. Yes, go, homies. We got our boys back now. The upper slice is crazy. Ooh, I thought he was running. This nigga was on the horse. Oh, my God. The, the fucking golf swing to the head up like this is insane. While riding the horse is crazy. Man said, I don't need guards because everyone should be there running. So no one needs to guard me. I wonder if this was the big brain play. Yeah, it was. This was the big brain play. Now they're going to go back for that ass. The rear guard stays. Hey, yo. <laughs> and he's hyped. He's like, this shit would be a waste right now. If that's yo, He likes to kill. He's the crazy one. I ain't going to lie. That's dope. He said, bro, it'd be a waste if I don't come this way and actually almost die. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. Damn, he big brain this bitch. 
Oh, four or five steps ahead. Ooh. This nigga is thinking he's chickening out. He's coming back to help his bitch ass. Oh, he's a real big brain. Don't even see him. Oh my God, he missed his top. He missed? Ain't no fucking way, bro. Did he do that on purpose? Ah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's smart. That's actually so fucking smart, bro. This motherfucker said, bro, he said, I'm gonna be the distraction. I'm gonna set some shit up on the side. After the smoke clears, it's gonna look like we got a, a army here. He said, I'd rather have this dumbass general a part of this fight in the future because he's so dumb to get caught now. He's gonna be just as dumb later. An incompetent general is better alive. That's amazing strategy, yo. I ain't gonna lie to that. That's such a great strategy. Now you scared him. That nigga got so scared because he almost got his shit split. And this nigga's like, bro, they're bluffing. So, hey, you gotta, you gotta go with what he's his plan. Uh, they might, hey, they look here. They might stage like an inside coup and fucking try to take the, uh, that motherfucker out because he's so dumb. Bodies. God damn. That's a good L. Facts. See, he was ready to get all of them killed. Come on, bro. They always gonna have his back. Anytime he asks, yo, we got a fight coming up. Yeah, we got you. A squad right there. Hey, yo, chill, my boy. Chill, my boy. <laughs> my dude saw a chick running and his shit went crazy. Okay, so I mean, this is definitely a good big brain battle war series. Like, it's popping. Look, history. History's being made. Put it in the scroll. I wonder if this is like a, based on a true story or some shit. You know what I mean? Nice. All right, well. And there you have it. The Lucif Samurai finale ended on a good note, ended on a dub. Also gave you a taste of real life shit because we're in a war. So bodies are being dropped. People are sacrificing their lives just for the cause. And now we're seeing like, okay, his whole ideal of surviving and living on and just creating a place of peace that everyone, like that That idea is just, it just sounds so much better, bro. And if you could be behind a leader that, you know, obviously proves himself on and off the battlefield to, to, to be the one to foresee that future, like, and you see that he got people riding for him, then bro, He's my president. Line them up, bro. Let's get it. Let's get you more allies. Let's let's change some minds. Let's get people that's like all this samurai pride shit, bro. My whole family died because of what? Because niggas was about to lose one battle? Niggas should have retreated, regrouped, and figured it out and came back stronger. You know what I mean? Like, just figured it out, bro. But niggas, rather than figuring it out, motherfuckers say, you know what? Hey, well, seems like we lost, so fuck it. What? I'm good. That's such a deep, old school cultural thing. Man. But it's a vibe. We got his five, basically, you know, we got his all his right hands, everybody that's right next to him. We see his main right hand general that's, that's doing his thug thizzle, you know? He's a kid standing up to grown ass men. You almost beat the nigga. You did a little jump. If that big nigga didn't see it coming, you would have definitely, boom, neck would have been gone, head would have been. But he's good too. He's in his position for a reason as well. He said, damn, and you was already injured. If you would have tried it maybe a little earlier, when you had a little more strength, it would have been a little different. But, you know, but hey, everything worked out. Your boys had your back. I think that's the best thing. I think his boys having his back, you know, that just gave it that extra oomph. And then they're going to pass on the story. They're going to pass on his legacy. Um, more motherfuckers are going to meet him. Be like, yo, you the nigga that... Hey, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. He does. He's that guy. He's got the name. Then obviously the messenger, the story of the messenger, bro. Come on, bro. He's got to be real life stories being told right now. I I believe it is. This is some shit that I real, really believe that might have happened in one of these wars. They just changed the names up. Shit, they might actually be the names. You know how Japanese people do. Actually, look, I'm about to Google that shit real quick. Come on now. The Elusive Samurai is a Japanese manga series and anime series based on the life of Hojo Tokiyuki, a real life samurai who lived during the transition from the Kamakura to the Muromachi, Muromachi periods. This is a real life story. It's a fictional retelling, but he's an actual real motherfucker. He was a samurai from the Hojo clan who fought for and against the Imperial Court. He was the last heir of the Hojo clan, which controlled the Amakuta Shogunate. Yeah, this is real shit. This is the things that anime do, feel me? They take real life characters and then they, you know, I mean, that's just kind of like uh, you know, honestly, like that's like how Marvel started, you know, with Stan Lee created 
um, you know, all these characters based after people. You know, my main example would be a Professor X and a Magneto. Professor X is MLK and Magneto is Malcolm X. Like, you know, the radical, they both had the same ideals, bro. They just wanted their people to be free. But guess what? One just was a little more radical, bro. That's all. You know, one wanted to do it the peaceful route, one wanted to do it the radical route. So that was his way of storytelling their story within like you know this is the elusive samurai maybe you know i don't know the story of the, the true story but you know maybe he lost the battle you know like honestly like maybe he died and this is like a what if series like yeah he rebelled you know he went around and tried to get uh you know revenge and, and rebelled against the army for his family and da, 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 da. but at the end he actually didn't he wasn't able to to do it you know like unfortunately like yeah it was his dream to do it but it didn't work out they're gonna retell the story with it working out maybe you know i don't know it happened so long ago shit but it's actually based off a true story and that's what i'm saying is that japanese storytelling usually base it off of characters in their real world or you know in their in their legends and in their fables and shit like that bro like they just do it very well and i love how they do it. manga anime is some great ass writing it's the way this is shot is the way they transition the way they hit the, th the way they the camera moves the way they, like what the way they set up their shots the way they bro it's it's amazing like it's done very well it's done very well big stakes at hand you know everybody could die he's being a good leader i'm excited to see how far he goes into the future i'm really hoping they come back with maybe like a time skip you know like this was the real for real intro but also this Rebellion was supposed to happen in like two years. So the time skip's only gonna be maybe a year and maybe we'll be like six months out from the, the final battle type shit. Like, and we'll just see the quick level up. A year makes a big difference if you just train your ass off every day and you just, you know, putting in work here and there. A whole year of putting in work, gaining allies for a main a major battle. Like, yeah, it's gonna take some time, but y'all, y'all, y'all working, y'all working. I don't know. Seems like that's what's gonna happen, you know. In the in the time span, he's he's gained this many more retainers, this many more territories on his side, you know. And then now we get into the shits for the second season. This could be a three season series and be clean cut fire. But let me know what you think or thought about this series in the comments below. And that was the elusive samurai. Just like that, it's a wrap. Appreciate you for pulling up on me live. If you check this out. If you're just not catching this on YouTube, you already know what to do. Like, comment, and sizz up, all of the above. Down below, do it. Links in the description. Make sure you pull up on me while I'm live. Be a part of the discussion. I'm hoping you enjoy this live with this video. We're on the road to a thousand. So go ahead and do what you gotta do to make me a part of the algorithm. All right? Do what you gotta do. You wanna see me on your home screen, you feel me? But nah, I appreciate y'all for sliding through, man, as always. I catch y'all next time. As always, have fun, stay fly, and be free. I'm out of here, man.